waking us up from our winter slumber with its really extraordinary sound retrospective of Chinese sound art. Uh, to tell you more and introduce Da, uh, da Juin, I'll introduce Wen Ba Shi of the art department. Like a what is a sound art? So sound art usually is the uh, art of uh, listening. Our Chinese sound art particularly is uh, the sound art produced created by Chinese artists. Today, because uh, the digital media uh, technology allows sound, art, sound artists to be explore other type of media or uh, combine media, uh, allow a sculpture to create sound sculpture, allow visual artists to create visual audio work. Person Hall is a traditional sound art piece, uh, more like a sound installation. So using sculpture elements uh, occupy the space. Also this piece is a tribute to 100 years ago, the featurelism idea of the art of noise. I'm still warm enough to do the bridge. I did a week and a half. I turned around and went to the image. Today's exhibit. Uh, RPM was really cool. Uh, I think because it was the opening and having the opportunity to speak with the actual artists themselves uh, really opened up the meaning uh, behind a lot of the pieces that otherwise might seem kind of obscure. So the, the new trend in sound art, think about uh, uh, how visual uh, combined with the sound, uh, artists are pushing more experimental ways. I think about non a narrative way, more abstract. It's great stuff. You can tell that they put a lot of work into it. Um, some, some, some of the things are kind of spooky because they have to turn on the lights. Um, and then you sit in the darkness and listen to some weird sounds. But others are pretty creative. You know, a great combination of sounds that um, young creative minds have put together. Fortune cookie says something about um, if you do what you want to do, it's called freedom. But if you do what you like to do, it's called happiness. So today, we all <laughs> Both own the happiness and the freedom.